So I have OCD, so I'm getting tested for autism in about two weeks. People with autism can personify inanimate objects, so they can attribute human-like traits to inanimate objects. I've made hours and hours worth of videos on rocks having consciousness. I don't necessarily actually believe rocks are conscious, but I enjoy imagining real rocks as conscious and coming up with a very in-depth version of neurology for ordinary rocks. My OCD also overlaps with personifying things like insects and worms. This means my OCD leads to distressing emotions. My OCD to do with this is a lot better now, but here's a video from about a year ago. Warning, bugs like spiders and insects. With my OCD, I worry about accidentally harming small animals like insects or like mites. One of the compulsions for this is when I put two surfaces together, like putting a drink on a coaster. I have to check the surfaces for tiny animals like insects or mites. This is so I don't accidentally squish them and so I don't make them feel pain. I used to look across the surface in lines. There are lots of different surfaces that get put together during a day. I would check for any little specks that might be something like a little mite and then inspect the specks. Currently I'm a bit better and just give a shorter look across the surface. I made a drinks coaster and drew small bugs on it. I thought this art may be interesting because it is meant to provoke a reaction in me when putting a glass down on it. I would maybe think are any of these bugs and dots actual bugs and I would maybe check the drawing in case they were. A while ago I saw a white speck on a surface. I thought tiny creatures aren't usually white so it's less likely to be a tiny creature. Then I thought, am I being racist against the tiny creatures by checking white specks less? I don't think this thought caused me that much anxiety, but it was a thought I had. I've made three coasters, one with white dots, one with black dots, and one with red dots, as mites can look red. I'm going to time how long it takes me to check each surface before putting a glass down. This is to see if I'm racist against tiny creatures. On one hand, it would be better to treat the tiny creatures equally, but again, white specks may be less likely to be tiny creatures as the tiny creatures may not be white as often. Therefore, I may not check the surface with white dots as long. I have now thought of reasons why white specks may not be less likely to be tiny creatures. I did the experiment three times for each coaster it took me the shortest on average to check the surface with white dots. Then the surface with black dots took longer on average and the surface with red dots took the longest. I don't know if the experiment was the most accurate, but I thought it may be an interesting idea. There are reasons why this didn't take me as long 
and I am getting better. However, OCD about accidentally harming creatures like insects has impacted me in a lot of ways. Thanks.